Hey DOT fam, this is Jaeger giving you another event rundown, this time for Year of the Pig. And we've got Pigsy, uh, I'm still going to just butcher his name. I'm sticking with the Baconator, right? we got the Baconator here rolling out for the Year of the Pig Alliance War, our second uh, Chinese New Year event in the DOT history. Of course, we had Wukong, and he made a return. Things that are unique about Pigsy here is he is coming with his own unique skill. He's got the Piggy, Pigsy's Rake, which gives you Titan Critical and three additional Rage Spells. He also comes with a Tier 2 and Tier 3 Offensive skill and a Tier 2 Defensive skill, as well as a Titan X skill. He's a pretty solid Titan, actually, in my opinion, both in looks and on the actual battlefield. I do have some battlefield gameplay at the end of the stream, so make sure you take a look at that. We also have some all-new relics in here. Uh, we've got the Calabash. We've got the Beaded Necklace. We also see the return of Bow of the Kings. Now, for these relics alone, I'm actually pretty excited. I do need a Bow of the Kings, and I do like the stats on these other new relics. Uh, I'm a fan of them, so I think they actually will be extremely helpful for a number of different Titans. We do also have our boosts, which fortunately I'm very glad to see that Wukong does get a pretty high boost for this 1.5. We also have other 4-star physicals getting a 1.3, and 3-stars get a 1.2 so solid boosts the thing is it is a pretty quick event so you got to keep that in mind those boosts are high but you got to get it done fast we also have a temple takeover for physical titans which uh, again if you don't have any and you're going for this it might not be a bad idea if you've got any tokens to go ahead and do a run with that uh that way you've got your uh, uh relic use to go across the board a bit uh, but you know, I think it actually could be pretty solid. Um, you know, get, if you're able to pull yourself any of those Titans out of there, maybe even just use them for food. Uh, we also do have the Crazy Eights, so we've got the Dragon Lamps uh, being used as the Relics. Eight uses, pretty standard across the board uh, for this all-new Pigsy event. Or in other words, what I'm sticking with is the Baconator, just because of all those rolls he's got. So... Uh, he's gotten a really nice history of him kind of wanting to go up against Wukong and take his glory, his power, and, of course, his food. Uh, but the problem is, uh, God, I just butcher his name, but he's always so lazy and he's a bit of a glutton, and he, but he thinks himself as this really elite dude. So working with this, this is only just barely over two and a half days. So you've got to get moving pretty quick on these souls if you actually want to get it complete. Taking a look at the events, uh, milestones, I'm just going to kind of let these run through and just holler out a few things that are really important just so we can get this event quick information out to you. Uh, token wise, we do have five tokens, the golden tokens for those relic pulls available throughout it. In total, we have uh, what do we got? Five different portal stone packages available throughout this event, which include the 50 portal stones. We have a 75 portal stone. We also have a 100. We actually have two 100 uh, portal stone boosts. Uh, with that, we also have a 125. So we've got, well, let's see, one, two, three, 450 portal stones available throughout this. You do also have a bonus token. Gem-wise, we've got four packs. We've got a 250, a 500, a 750, and a 1300, which gives you a right around, what is that, like 31, 32, or something like that as far as total of souls. Uh, I'm sorry, gems available throughout here. You've got 575 divine gems, which is a bit of a unique setup. We've got 175 pack, and then later on a 500 divine gem pack. So it's not like they're split up throughout here. You could see right here at the 2,500 souls that we've got 75, and later on we have 500. So again, kind of an odd amount and an odd way that they're set up, but uh, they're not the only kind of unique and odd thing, the way that these souls kind of uh, progress through in these milestones. We also have one epic token and a four-star XP relic, but looking at it, like here's a unique thing. If you take a look at the 3,500, 100 portal stones, and then we have a 3,999. So rather than going from 3,500 to 4,000, we actually have 39.99, which is, again, there's just some unique soul amounts that are set up here and here, uh, a little bit different. Uh, the 5,000 to 5,001. Now, I know that they've done something like this in the past because of the relationship to the event time period. So I didn't do my history check here, but I'm wondering if that 39. 99 or this 5001 has something maybe unique to do with the year of the pig or even this pig's history and backstory as well so just a few unique things to put out there uh, again four star titan xp soul uh, relic is in there another unique thing we will have available in this event 
uh, is the bore token. Now we've seen that come up before, but the bore token will actually let you choose a specific other pig or boar that you want uh, within the uh, reward system rather than saying, you know, this is the Titan that you will get. Again, I'm going to give a shout out to the Boa Kings here. If you don't have it, it is a relic that I myself want to get. That's at the 10,000 mark. And then we start seeing some of the new relics come in at the 11,000 mark, which is where the beaded necklace rolls around. And then going into this kind of final tier is where you see uh, everything available. That boar token I mentioned is right there at 12,000 souls. Calabash coming in at the 13999 So again, there's definitely something unique about that number. I'll have to do my backstory and see if maybe when I bring you some content later on, uh, if we can actually figure out the reason why. And if you know it, post it down in the comments below because I don't know it yet. And then we've got Pigsy, which I, I'm fascinated that that's kind of the name that they chose to actually use for him because they didn't list him under his actual name. They just went with Pigsy. Yet again, I'm going to pretty much go with, uh, you know, Baconator is what I'm going to do here. But, um, you know, when looking at it, it's I'm, I'm glad to see that they're going with the other um, theme here for the Chinese New Year. Uh, I'm glad to see that make a return. I'm glad to see these specific tokens make a return. So you could choose from Flame Hide, Snow Gore, Stone Scar, all level 15 guys, which is actually pretty nice to get from these uh, tokens. And you also have the three other pigs to choose from Stone Scar, Storm Boar, and Venom Tusk. Now, the only two I don't have is Snowgore and um, Stone Scar, but I think I'm going to go with Stone Scar because I believe he has a unique uh, relic skill set. Uh, sorry, not relic, but skill set to him that makes him probably a little bit more valuable. But that's pretty much your rundown. I'll give you a value for that here, uh, what we're looking at grand total compared to what it's actually worth. With the equivalent of essentially four epic tokens, uh, pre-level titans all at about 15 or higher, um, this actually boosts the numbers up to about 68,875 for your value. Uh, you've got uh, 1.5 boost, you've got 15,000 souls, so it's going to cost you about 3,000 portal stones or and essentially 18,000 gems to be able to grind through that. Uh, so you're in positive, uh, about 50,000 uh, gem value on this one. Again, 18,000 to complete it, about 68,875. Uh, but here's your look at Zhu Baiji, I believe is how you'd say it. That's my first attempt at it. Zhu Baiji. Uh, I don't know, the Baconator here. Here's his skill set. Uh, you can see kind of come up. We'll take a look at him again in the end. But um, piercing at 41%, 79%. This is base, what he has. Health at 87,000. Damage at 3,400. Armors at 40%. I do have a 72% uh, physical because that is the resistance that I got. I also did get an extra damage boost, but I only have him at level 50 here on my test account. And uh, again, taking a look, there's his rake, 30% Titan critical, which is awesome that that's not base, right? And the rage spell. So 30% Titan critical, that's automatically what he gets, plus the AP, plus his resist against physical, plus another critical I got at tier three, which is why my crit was so high. Again, I do have that extra X at the end, but I did not level him up beyond 50, so I'm missing out on that extra damage. Now, taking a look, uh, I'll put some relics on there in a minute, and you can kind of see how I roll with him into battle. I'll let you guys continue to check him out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and whether or not you'll be completing the year of the pig event to get your hands on this well stacked baconator again stay tuned to the end not only to see the battle see how he solos against another relatively equivalent physical battle but to get one more look at his skills and his relic stack that i set up in the end again i'm jaeger thanks for checking this out guys let me know what you think in the comments down below